and welcome to Flowing with Angels. Thank you so much for joining me again for another angel message and angelic symbol. I would like to thank all of you for your kind support for this channel by commenting on the videos and giving me a thumbs up. This time the beautiful Archangel Gabriel is with us, bringing us an inspiring message featuring the white lotus flower. By the way, if you would like to receive a personal angel message, I offer angel readings through my website. You can find more information in the description box below. As usual, we will take a look at the symbolism of the white lotus flower first, before we move on to the channeled message from Archangel Gabriel. The white lotus represents the journey towards enlightenment, spiritual awareness, and a state of grace and inner peace through purifying our mind, body and spirit of ego-related emotions, thoughts and energies that are the main cause of the suffering in our lives. The practice of non-attachment plays a significant role in this process. The dichotomous nature of this beautiful flower shown in its transcendence from a flower bud in muddy waters to a fully opened pure white flower blooming above the surface of the water makes it a powerful symbol of purity and transformation. Our past, where we came from and our previous challenges and hardships are no match for the purity of our spirit and the clarity in our heart. The origin of the white lotus lies in a murky environment, yet it still manages to bloom perfectly in all its splendor. And so can we emerge to blossom and ascend to a higher level of awareness, love and compassion, regardless of the starting point of our journey. Through the opening of its delicate petals towards the bright light of the sun, the lotus flower teaches us to become more open and vulnerable towards others in sharing our love and compassion, which will benefit those around us as well as ourselves. This remarkable flower's daily process of emerging above the surface of the water and its beautiful white color and clean appearance depict the possibility of a rebirth that is always available to us. Every moment brings us the opportunity to wipe the slate clean and start fresh without having to hold on to the burden of guilt, shame or regret. Let's see how the white lotus symbolism fits into Archangel Gabriel's guidance for us. My dearly beloved ones, how wonderful to be here with you and hold you steadily in my energy ray of pure white light and upliftment. My message will be about finding the perfect balance between your body, mind and soul through your creative and intuitive powers, injected with a dose of healthy optimism and inspiration. I, Archangel Gabriel, have chosen the beautiful white lotus to remind you of the positive change and spiritual growth that come from self-empowerment and following your true path in life. I would like to begin by expanding on the true meaning of creativity. Your creative powers are directly linked to the universal energy flow, which is at the base of all creation. From the creation of the universe and your planet, to the tangible man-made objects and devices in your world. Expressions of creativity always start with a formation of energy through clear intention and focus. So that is why we are going to start with this premise and look at the energy foundation of your creativity as well as your intuition, which is the channel through which the energy flows. The White Lotus arises out of the muddy water, where its roots provide it with nourishment and stability to grow and blossom. 
Your metaphorical muddy waters are the circumstances of your daily life and the way you perceive and interpret them. The big question is, do they stimulate your blossoming in life with your symbolical flower petals being the higher qualities of lightness, joy, happiness and fulfillment? Or do they block your growth by slowing down your natural energy and sabotaging your intentions and desires by conjuring up unnecessary burdens? There are three elements that will transform your symbolical muddy waters into a fertile ground for the cultivation of inner balance, peace and grace when you integrate them into your life in a divinely inspired way. The first one is the use of your time and how you prioritize your assumed responsibilities and duties. I encourage you to quietly contemplate what is truly important to you, because so many things you do have become ingrained habits born out of obsolete beliefs that no longer serve your highest good. So many of you have confined yourself to merely the roles that you play in your life and the labels you have put on yourself as well as on others, such as employee, partner or parent, without being in touch with the truth of your soul. Have you started to live more from your conditioned mind than from your beautiful heart through which you receive the directions that your intuition softly whispers to you in every moment? Do you listen to the inner voice of your higher self that talks of the higher values of freedom, love, companionship and joy? Or the nagging voice of the ego that argues for your limitations and the requirements you must meet in order to get appreciation and recognition? This brings me to the second element, which concerns the way you define your worthiness and your deservingness of all the goodness in life. Let me start by telling you, dear ones, that you are already greatly loved and highly appreciated for who you are and the life you have chosen on earth. There is nothing that can alter that, and your soul knows this truth. However, many of you think you are tainted by life because of your past wrongdoings and that of others and the unfortunate events that you have lived through. You have lost the connection to your pure and innocent essence of light and love, which makes you either overly responsible and controlling or negatively and emotionally reactive towards the world around you. Learn to regulate your emotions, dear ones, and make your inner peace and balance your most important priority, because you can only attract good things and people towards you through your higher state of being, which they then will reflect back to you. Stop dimming your own light, but become the light bearer that you were meant to be. Lastly, I would like to leave you with the spiritual meaning of a rebirth or a brand new beginning that the beautiful white lotus flower depicts. In the present moment, where past nor future truly exist, new opportunities and new choices arise before you. You do not have to be bound by all that has come before, but just like the lotus flower has no leftover debris on it from its muddy origin, so can you thrive by taking a new direction in life and releasing everything that weighs you down, whether these are thoughts, emotions, material objects or people. When they naturally start to drift out of your life, let them go with blessings and with a spirit of ease and gentleness. When you read or hear these words, it is time for you to wipe the slate clean and re-emerge as the beautiful being of love and light that you are. You will find new ways to express yourself creatively because your energy flow is no longer blocked 
but freely flowing instead. Ask me to help you with this process of transformation and I will be right there beside you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed Archangel Gabriel's message for us. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel or leave a comment in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. I wish you a wonderful week. Until next time, Namaste.